Hi everyone, welcome back to my kitchen and welcome to Gizmos and Gadgets episode 2 and today we're going to use a crock pot. Last week we cooked fast and furious and this week we're going to cook low and slow. So um, we're going to be making a dish called salsa chicken. This is one of the most simple dishes you'll ever make. It's a dump and go and just let it cook until the chicken is cooked enough to shred. We shred it up, put it back in with all of the sauce that you've got in there, and then serve it up as you would like. You can wrap it in a tortilla. You can serve it over nachos. And I'm not quite sure yet which way I'm going to do it today. Um, I'm probably going to do it like we make a taco salad, which is with Fritos, corn chips on the bottom, kind of crushed up a little bit. Then you put your meat layer, and then you put your lettuce and tomato and onions, and more salsa if you want it, although there's a lot of salsa in the dish itself. And then uh, the cheese and whatever else you want, avocado, um, tomato, sour cream, uh, anything. I'm either going to do it that way or I can spread some nachos out on a sheet pan and cover it with the meat layer and some cheese and stick it in the oven and then top it the same way you would do the other with the lettuce, tomato and all that other stuff. But in the meantime, I'm going to take you down to the crock pot and I'm going to put together this salsa chicken. Be right back. Okay, I've got my crock pot here. Now I have two crock pots. This one is my baby crock pot but I think I can fit it all in here and it's just a lot easier to handle. I'm going to start with two chicken breasts and these are actually two chicken breasts that I cut in half because they were so big but I think we can get them in here. And I'm just going to try to spread them out a little bit. This makes quite a bit. All right. And on the top of that, I'm going to put a package of taco seasoning. But I think I'll put vegetables first. One can of corn drained. One can of black beans drained and rinsed. And now I'm going to put the taco seasoning so it gets it on everything. And now it says a half a bottle of salsa. This isn't quite a half a bottle. I'm going to put all of this in and then maybe a little more. And basically, I'm just going to move this around a little bit so the salsa can get down on the chicken. It'll all, you can stir it around a little bit later. That's it. That's it, folks. I think I'll add just a little bit more salsa. Got to go to my opener. Hold on. Those openers are wonderful. Okay, let me just put another little bit. I think that'll be good. And I'm going to put on the top. And I have it on high. <clears throat> and it's high 
about four to six hours. It's uh, about 11.30 now, so I'm going to do it on high so we can have it tonight. On low, five to seven, so you can put it on in the morning and have it all ready. So that's it, folks. And when I get back and get ready to serve it, I'll show you how we're going to serve it up. Simple and easy and tasty. You don't have to add salt and pepper at all at this point in time because, of course, the taco seasoning and the salsa have lots of spices in them. So I'll be back. If I uh, stir it around a little bit later, I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Other than that, I'll be back when it's done. See you later. Just a little interim look here. It's been going almost three hours. And you can see it's boiling away here. But I can feel that the chicken is still not tender. Getting there. Okay. I don't know if you saw that. I think I might have had it in the wrong direction. There you go. <laughs> you can see. Uh, let it go a little longer. I'll be back. Okay. I have a bowl here. It's kind of a deep bowl. You really won't see too much inside because I'm going to use my mixer and I really don't want this to um, splash me. Now this chicken is definitely done. falling apart. This is um, three and three quarter hours. I think this little crock pot cooks hotter than some. A lot of chicken. And I think there's some pieces in there that just kind of disintegrated. We'll let them be. A little noisy. What a great way to shred, if you didn't know that already. Look at that. Now what you do with this, is put it right back in. And I'm going to turn this off and leave the cover on for now, because it is quite hot. And... Let this get good flavors. I really need a spoon to get down in there.
There's a, enough for a crowd here, but this is good leftovers too. I'm going to give it a little taste. Good. Very good. I'm not dipping my fork. I have a spoon. <laughs> Hot. Um, good. I could have got away with less chicken. So what I'm going to do is add some more salsa and get just a little bit more juice in there. Because I'm going to put salsa on it anyway. Let me try one more. You know? Yeah, I think I will put a little bit more salsa. Let me put you down, I'll show you. Let me give it a taste. Yep. This is good. Good. I'm going to, I could put more salsa in it now, but I'm going to wait and, um, Leave it to add the salsa to the top. Yeah, that's good. All right, get the pots off. And I'm tasted. And, and I'm going to uh, be back when it's time to serve it up. And I'll show you how I'm going to fix it. But it is delicious. Not too spicy, because I, I don't think Bob would like it if it was too spicy. And I wondered, because I use medium salsa, um, I wondered if between the taco seasoning and the salsa, it might be too salty, uh, too spicy for Bob. But it's not. It's good. So, anyway, be back when we plate it up. See you in a bit. Oh, there you go. Here's how we're making it, like haystacks. And somebody's thinking it's pretty good. We put it on the bottom. We put lettuce, tomato, cheese, salsa. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Be sure and make this. Okay, I'll see you Tuesday. Well, I don't know what we're doing yet, but we'll find out for something to do. See you later. Make sure you stay safe. Wear your mask, keep your distance, wash your hands, get your vaccination. And everybody, play nice now. Love you. See you later. Bye-bye.